How's that mic feel? It's all good. Yeah. Cool. I'm just gonna do some um, mic tests if that's okay. You don't have to. It's all good. I just wanna warm up my voice. I would like a small plate of gluten-free spaghetti. Spaghetti. Are you hungry? Or did you? I mean, did you actually want that? No. Um, I'm still doing my vocal warm-ups, bro. Oh, that's a warm-up. Sorry. Gluten-free spaghetti. Tea. Mmm. Here you go, bro. You, you want some? Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Are you excited? Man, I'm so excited. I'm like, my whole life, I've been wanting to help the world. And today, I feel like I'm really getting to do that. Greg Sipes, the Greg Sipes, is one of the most masterful human beings ever to float through this space called called Earth, and uh, um, we love him so much. So if Greg, when Greg says, "Hey, can you uh, anything?" my response is always, "Yeah, of course." Any movement seems to start with a single idea or a single person, and um, one voice can be loud enough to lead people into something positive. And, Sipes really walks that walk of bringing people together and emphasizing the value in the individual humans, but also in the collective, so I think that's good. From the moment we adopted Greg, we knew he was meant to help people. Our son fed the homeless and loved work with animals. He always said there is only one Earth and we're all on it together. So we gotta look out for each other. He's a sweet boy. And that's why I started an organization that works with other charities and nonprofits to just make a big difference in, in, in the world, you know? Unamore Org. That's what my organization's called. And I even got a tattoo for it. As an orphan myself, I always had a dream of. That's stupid. I, I, always, I always had a dream of making a home for everyone, a place for everyone to stay. The, the ones that don't have a place to go, the homeless elderly, the kids, the animals. Today, we're opening up the doors to the Unamore shelter where you, 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 you. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, who are you? Uh, I actually hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we had to change the locks because you guys got outbid. What do you mean, outbid? What are uh, you talking last about? Last night, the property was purchased by Mr. Seth Green. Seth? Yeah, he's an actor. He's really good. Yeah, I know who he is. He's a friend of mine. Well, he's gonna use the facility as a storage place for his toys, for his uh, action figures. Toys? Oh, we're gonna bring his stuff in now, so we need you guys to leave, because it's hard with everybody in the way. We'll figure this out. All right, sorry. What is this? I don't know. What are we gonna do? Tell everyone to go home, I guess. Home? Yeah, right. Damn, sorry. And all these people are counting on me to, for a place to sleep tonight, and... Sipes, don't do that. Please, Greg. The reason I work for Sipes is because I get really bored at other jobs, and at least with Greg, I know that I'm gonna go into work and it's gonna be something completely different every day. And he pays me a lot. Sipes, please don't say um, anything. Excuse me. Um, everyone, I'm gonna have to not open the doors to the shelter tonight, but we're gonna figure this out. We're all gonna go to my house tonight. Yeah. Come on, you're coming to my house for the night, all right? Uh, come on, this is gonna be good. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna get you a place. So, until we get this all figured out, it looks like I'm gonna have some new house guests. <laughs> but I, I got a really good feeling about all this. It's gonna work out. Mmm, smells good. What are you making? Oh, what is that? Spanky stew, yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, can you please put on some clothes for the guests, bro? Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, brother Seth, it's Sipes. How you doing, man? Um, I'm just wondering, did you get that message about that thing? Um, It'd mean a lot to me if you hit me back. All right, dude, we'll talk soon. Peace, love, and animals. Oh, 
Actually, no one's supposed to be up here, but uh, oh, thank you. Oh yeah, thank you for showing up. Thank you. Thanks for being here, man. What's up, dudes? What's going on? What's your name? My name's Drew. Nice to meet you, Drew. Nice what about you, dude? Brandon. Nice to meet you, B. Welcome, guys. This is Mama Shadow. Nice to meet you, Mama Shadow. So what do you guys like to do? Well, I like to skateboard and break dance. Fresh. Me too. Let's see what you got. I'm really glad that Sipes opened this house for people to stay in. Now me and my little bro have a place to live. That's a cool thing to do. <laughs> I started the Unamore shelter because, and this might sound weird, but the universe told me to do it. Like, like a voice in my head was always like, start this shelter, you have a vision to, to make a place for the homeless elderly, the kids and the animals, and put them under one roof and teach them a new way to live. And, and if they're all unwanted in these areas across the world, which there are unwanted kids, animals, and elderly, you take them and you put them under a roof and let them know they are wanted, they are needed, they are loved, and they do matter. And that's what really is driving me you know, forward. And that's why I created Unamore, is to create a new world for all of us. Especially Wingadi. I love you so much, people. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fed and taken care of. A hat? For the guests. Una more, here we go.